where the plant comes before it. It must have been really dry. And that storm gets here, the rest of it, that main cloud, it looks like it's coming. Say what? Ready. You need to talk a little louder, honey. I'm just saying the, uh, the rainstorm that's supposedly coming right now, following this one, it's supposed to be pretty heavy so stream of water coming off of that thing will probably fill this thing up in a second. That's how much rain will be coming off top of the house. Yeah, it looks like the sun might be coming out. No. That's hot symmetric exercise, but I don't think. <laughs> This one pour it in this one, then when I get the other. This thing looks real dry. It ain't even run out the bottom yet. Hey, hey, look at this one. She wants rain water, and I'm not about to lug those 100 pound plants out there. And what she wants so, is what she gets? Yeah, yeah. Yep, my love. <laughs> so, is this weather from uh, the aftermath of Hannah? Actually, uh, yeah, it's, it's part of the stuff that went into Mexico. It's just kind of building up and just kind of coming due north. Looks like quite a bit of rain might be coming. So. That's that much less watering we have to do. Yeah. And when I say we, I mean you. Yeah. <laughs> Give credit where it's due, man. Yeah. No chili man. That's the little chili patine that has the purple peppers that I let dry up and burn so we're starting them fresh. And that's a citronella plant that never has done anything. We um, bought that citronella plant in that bucket and um, it was 15 bucks. It was a little bushier then. But it never did anything. Uh, Whoa, okay, here comes some rain. It's going to really be flowing now. I can't hardly hold the gallon up when it's full with one arm. It's pretty heavy. 
Oh, wow, that was fast. Three or four seconds. I saw that. Looks like that uh, little chip plant might be putting out another plant to find that one. Uh, can you lift that up here and let's have a closer look? We may have shown it before when it was beautiful and lush before I let it burn up. I'm not quite sure what happened, but it did. It looks like it's going to come up from some seeds. Let me see. Let me get closer. Not that one, but these right here, they're coming from seeds. Oh, that's awesome. But, I'm yeah, sorry, this, little pepper plant. It, it looks so beautiful. It was all full and had little purple. They start off red. It's kind of unusual, like a regular little chili patines. Uh, or bird's eye peppers, as yeah. we call them in the south. Chili monte. It's the chili that's out in the brush and stuff, not the trees in the wild. But uh, anyway, they start out little tiny green. And when they ripen, they turn red. These start out red, and they ripen when they're purple, which is strange. They have almost the identical same flavor, except the chili monte or the chili patine or the bird's eye pepper, whichever you refer to, are not uh, like this in respect as far as heat. Those other ones are very hot. They will light you up. But these here just have the flavor with just a mild heat to it, which I like. And when you say light you up, you mean it. Lighting the candle at both ends, don't you? Ooh, wee. <laughs> Tell you what. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with some of those chilies you eat. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up with those uh, little, mama called them bird's eye peppers. We had a big bush out in the yard, and we'd always go pick them, and like we ate peas or something, I'd toss them in there, and you never knew when you were going to get the big surprise, but it was yummy. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. Uh, I know my brother does too, but uh, we had, um, we were growing up, we would, uh, we, you know, we had all these bushes out and about. We would just go pick them anytime we wanted, but we had some uh, tuna fish. Oh, it's so good. You just get some of those things and just put them all over your sandwich so you don't know yeah. when it's coming when you bite into it. Oh, man. That'd be delicious. It just gives it that extra punch. It's really good. Yeah. So I was trying to get a look at this back here. Um, we moved the Jake Porter sign to the back porch. Um, it says the Crockers, and uh, at night it glows. Oh, yeah, it Right before dark, I mean, the sun hits and it just charges it up really, really good, and then it just glows at night. So, so uh, Jake is like an electrician artist, and uh, I don't know, that's what I'm calling him. I think he's pretty much can do anything, air conditioning or whatever, you know. But, uh, well, anyway, uh, Jake has a channel. If y'all are interested in that kind of stuff, Jake Porter. I'm not, he's not, he has more subscribers than us. I'm not trying to give him a shout out. I just think he's cool. Yeah, yeah. He's always, you know, commenting and always, you know, very polite. So, you know, we enjoy his stuff. But yeah, uh, not a hurricane, but we're getting the rear end of Hannah, I guess, the leftovers. So. And we still haven't ordered a rug, so I still don't want to show. Uh, the rest, but we're looking and looking and looking. I just, I'm about tired of looking. I may just pick I, just anything. I think we already decided we're going to just get one. Okay. All right, you got anything else to say to these fine folks before we sign off? No. No, other than you got to get that. Or maybe they could do what to your channel? Subscribe. Woo! Hit that notification bell. Yes. Right. Yes, so they'll know when we have a new video. Hit that thumbs up. Absolutely. Or thumbs down if you have to. But hey, we'll take it either way. And comment. We like to hear your comments. Uh, don't always agree with your comments, but hey, that's what we're here to do is have freedom and decide what we want to do on our own. Hey, look here. Most of our people here are friendly. We don't have too many people that 
Only when you get uh, something that might be a little political to people, they some of those people might. But I think most of our viewers are like-minded. And yeah, uh, but anyway, we do like reading their comments, and we like it's just interesting to us. We're just a couple of geezers just geezing around. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, we'll probably stick this on the beginning of some video or at the end of some video, but. Uh, you did a fine job watering the plants, honey. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my love.